In this video, we'll look at the best beginner software for podcast editing, and you're gonna love it. So I've done stuff on this way back in the day when it was still known as Adobe Shasta. Well, Adobe Shasta has kind of elevated to new levels. It's now called Adobe Podcast. And I realized I haven't made a video about it yet. It is, in my opinion, the best beginner software for podcast editing. And you'll see why in this video. When I go to the screen, first of all, you'll note that it's in beta right now. So if you have an Adobe ID, you may need to apply to gain access. But believe me, it's worth it. And this is why I can create a new project and I can start recording right here in my web browser. It's really simple, does a few checks. And actually, before I even hit the record button, I can check my microphone to make sure it's okay. So there is my project I've created. And down here, we've got a mic check. I can try it out and it's going to listen to my microphone and tell me if it's optimal. Hello, this is Mike Russell, just checking to see if my microphone is set at the correct levels for this video. It analyzes my audio and look at that. Actually, the distance to the microphone is perfect. Background noise is fine, no echo, but maybe I'm a little bit too loud, it says. Okay, turn down the gain. It even tells me how to do that. I'm gonna lean back. Hello, this is Mike Russell, I'm testing again. Hopefully I'm not too loud for you, Adobe Podcast. And everything is perfect. Okay, as long as I don't speak too loud, I'll be fine. Or I could just turn the gain down on my mixer. Probably worth to do that. Right, let's go back and start and pick up where we left off. This is my new podcast. I can give it a name. I'll call it MRC Episode 1. Perfect. And now if I want, I can go ahead and invite guests. So all I need to do is pop their emails in here and they can join me remotely inside Adobe Podcast. So it's a great way of seamlessly stitching together remote guests as well. You can also upload stuff, insert music. Yep, there's a load of stock music here from Adobe available and insert a placeholder if later on you want to pop extra things into your show. But let's start by just getting started. So hit record. Hello, this is Mike Russell. I'm really excited to be here today and to show you how Adobe Podcast works. It's fantastic technology. Oh, uh, uh, made a mistake. Yeah, obviously that was deliberate, but I should be able to edit it out later. Hopefully, if Adobe Podcast will let me. Goodbye. Okay, there's my 20 second podcast. It's now analyzing me. I've got a tick. It's got a waveform, but in a second, I'm gonna get a transcription, okay? Transcriptions are really super cool. And the way you can do that is you can just click the dots and click transcribe. You'll see this is already queued for transcribing. I can fade it in, fade it out, do whatever I want. I can do split edits as well along here. It's really cool. And look at that, it's transcribed me and I can play back, it'll show all my words. Hello, this is Mike Russell. I'm really excited to be here today and to show you how Adobe Podcast works. It's fantastic technology. Oh, uh, uh, made a mistake. Yeah, obviously that was deliberate. Okay, so all I'd need to do is literally text edit this so I can go ahead and highlight whatever I'd like to cut out and I'll go here and I'll just hit delete. Oh, look at that. That's so easy. That's the easiest beginner editing software for podcasters. Let's play again in here. It's fantastic technology. Obviously, that was deliberate, but I should be able to edit it out later. Hopefully, if Adobe Podcast will let me. And again, I can just click a word and again, delete it. Wow, incredible. And let's play back again. Be able to edit it out later if Adobe Podcast will let me. This is mind blowing uh, text editing right here. There's other things such as copying, so I can copy. I don't know why I'd want to keep copying and pasting different things, but if I wanted to, I could copy this and I could paste it somewhere else like that. I can put deliberate at the end. I don't know why I'd do that. Will let me. Deliberate. <laughs> deliberate will let me deliberate. Perfect. So you've got all of these options, deleting available. Uh, now, obviously filters is great and we'll look at how enhanced speech works in a moment. But first of all, let's go back and actually look how the example podcast here looks. This is from the founders of Adobe Podcast. And you can see here, there are two different speakers here and they've even got nice icons for their names. There's background music inserted. This is really cool stuff. And again, it's easy to jiggle things around, move things to wherever we want. So I can go ahead and edit out what I want in my podcast and it's all done by text editing. So if you don't like using editing software that shows you waveforms and you'd prefer to edit words instead, Adobe Podcast is definitely going to be the way to go. Now back in my original podcast, I'm actually gonna add some music from this music library Adobe provide. Let's go to Particle and let's audition this one. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna insert this as some music. Now at the moment it just inserts it into my podcast as a piece of music at the start. Let's play it. 
So that music will play, and then when the music ends, my podcast will start. But if I prefer, if I want it as like intro music, I can actually click here on the three dots, and I can set it as background music. And look at that, if I now rewind, the music will play in the background as I start speaking. Hello, this is Mike Russell. I'm really excited to be here today and to show you so a great way of mixing intro and outro music into your podcast. And of course, I can grab the handle over here. I can move it wherever I like. So if instead I'd like it to be an outro, it can go beneath my speech. It really is very, very good stuff. Okay, the final thing I want to show you, and I think it's a really cool feature, especially if you want some really good beginner software to start editing podcasts and make them sound better, well, you can do enhanced speech. And this really is very powerful. So I'm going to just upload 30 seconds of sample here and we'll have a listen to the original and then what Adobe Podcast can do to it. You can clean things up like noise, anything in the background, any echo and make it sound absolutely fantastic. Okay, first let's hear it without enhancement. In our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective that exists in China. Not very good, is it? Far away from the microphone, lots of echo, enhanced speech. I mentioned that China's lower cost perspective in combination with the way... That's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, that's pretty good for something that started like this. The way in which the country has developed over the past... And goes to this has created a market for most products. Now, I must admit, that one in particular is a really bad sample, and it does sound a little bit robotic, but you can definitely argue that the AI technology has done a decent job compared to what we started with. Okay, here's another one. I recorded this on my mobile phone in an outdoor noisy environment. Hello, this is Mike, and I'm recording on my mobile Doesn't inside sound good. my studio. Now, Pretty while bad. the acoustics are good here, the audio quality could be just a little bit better. So all I need to do is tick enhance speech and listen to what the Adobe Podcast AI does to improve my audio. Hello, this is Mike and I'm recording on my mobile inside my studio. Now, while the acoustics are good here, the audio quality could be just a little bit better. So there you go. If you're looking for the best beginner software for podcast editing, in my opinion, Adobe Podcast is it. It started life a little while ago as Adobe Shasta, or actually Project Shasta, I believe. Now it's currently in beta access, so you'll need to apply, but once you get access, you get speech enhancement, you get the ability to analyze your microphone and detect if there are any problems in your recording environment. Plus, you can edit podcasts with ease, just like editing a word processor document, insert music, sound effects, and even add multiple guests and remote guests. It really is an all-in-one solution, easy to use, and part of the Adobe Adobe package of editing software. Let me know how you get on with it. And if you've got any questions, do post them in the comments down below. If you want to know more about podcasting, you should definitely watch the video that's on your screen right now.